So like with premarital counseling, so you think couples should see a licensed therapist instead of pastor or man of the cloth or woman of the cloth? Yeah. Uh, certainly. I think that when you think about who we are, you know, we are spiritual beings, but we have a soul that is inclusive of our mind and our will and our emotions. And then we have our bodies. And so having, when you think of that three part person, then I wouldn't go to a pastor if I'm having heart issues. I might go to them to help me to pray and hope that my body recovers from that. But I'm not going to a pastor to give me a prescription for my heart if I need to go to the cardiologist, you know? So I can have them both. I can go to the cardiologist and I can go to my spiritual leader to help me with my spiritual things. But my spiritual leader, and I want to believe in that ability to help me through whatever illness or physical things I might be going through, most of us would solely lean on that one person to do that. So I think when we think sometimes around mental health, there's so many stigmas that come with mental health that we say, oh, you know, I'm too embarrassed to go to a counselor. I want to go to my pastor instead. And I say, great, go to your pastor. But if your pastor isn't trained in some additional things sometimes around how to help couples really have a plan through, you know, mental health needs, then I would say you might want to really pray and ask the Lord to lead you to a counselor that might even be a Christian counselor or a counselor of whatever religion that you might practice so that you can have that spiritual, you know, nourishment that you need from your spiritual counselor. And you can also have that mental health and mindful nourishment that you might need from someone who's trained in that particular thing as well.